Welcome, my name is Oliver, to again another Archaeos training. Today we will be talking about advanced geometrical correction. To do that, of course, we have to start up our Media Masters and go to full screen mode. So as you see, I'm just doing that. Uh, we can access the geometrical correction by opening File Preferences. When the menu is open, we go to the Display tab. And then we select Geometrical Correction. <coughs> when the menu is open, you see at the left top side two screens where you can each select of your screens. And the orange border where you also can click on and then you will have both screens at the same time. We have a magnetic border function and here we have some buttons that I will explain to you. If you press the F1, you will be adding a horizontal points into your geometrical correction and F3 is uh, adding vertical points, F2 is removing horizontal points and F4 is removing vertical points. So let's add one horizontal point to keep it simple and let's see what it does on the output. On the top left you still have your calibration screen that you can put in so you can see what you are doing and my colleague will now zoom in a little bit so we can show you the geometrical correction that I am doing. So I just drag and drop a point down and I can do it with any of the points. Click once to select it and just bring it up. It's not only in one way, you can do it in any way you want. So you can deform your screen in any size or any shape you need to project on curved screens. So this is a setup I do, uh, for example, I will now remove my uh, calibration screen and then you will see the visual running on a curved setup. You can also adjust it without using it, uh, the calibration screen and just doing it like so, so it's not a problem. It also needs some time to calculate, of course, when you move some points. So and when it stopped calculating, the visual will uh, return to its normal form. Perfect. So this is how you actually will change your geometrical correction. Which types of geometrical corrections do we have? We have no correction, we have linear, and we have curved, and we have NURB. You can toy around with these depending on what, of course, you need to uh, change. I will now select the uh, linear one press the reset button so our screen is just resetted. I will just add some horizontal points and some vertical points and show you what I mean. So then you have straight lines instead of, instead of curved lines, of course, that you can uh, change selecting a point, dragging and dropping it across. So you can actually have any form you want and still be able to, to edit it uh, in a nice way. So as you see, it doesn't take a lot of uh, effort to do that. If we select only one screen, uh, not the orange border, but one of the blue screens, you still can adapt some changes or add some points only to that one and not to an, uh, the other uh, screen. So you can also edit each screen separately. So I, here I will put in some vertical points, voila, and add the vertical points and of course uh, change it. Now, as you can see, uh, you can have on both screens linear, but if you select one, you can also choose curved to change it or even NURB. So this is a little bit how our geometrical correction works. And to save this, just press the close button, the same as with the soft edging, press OK, and then wait until the system uh, will show you the output and then you can uh, run some visuals if needed. So this concurs our uh, basic training for the advanced soft edging and see you soon. Bye bye.